can you replace your laptop with an iPad Pro? Let's find out. So why even consider an iPad Pro? There are a lot of upsides with this type of form factor instead of a laptop. Now, the first one being its portability, battery life, and specifically how good it looks. I mean, you get to walk into the office, you get to walk into your mate's house with your iPad looking all flash. Sometimes you're drawing notes on it and that's digitally uploading to wherever you need them to go. It looks good, but most importantly, it feels good and it's so light and carryable. It's also my preferred way to watch content. So just tucked up on the sofa, I could be in bed. I have to travel on the plane a lot. I live in Australia, so I've got to go to the UK every now and then to visit my family. And I'm able to use my iPad as my entire editing kit, content consumption engine, and gaming platform in that travel. It is such a great form factor to do this thing in. Now, this M4 chip is also in there. And that's a great thing because it's not only future-proof for the next few years, it's also so powerful that it can multitask and fly through apps at a breeze, keep a lot of it open in the background so that you can multitask and switch through. For example, I've had this exact video on edit in the background for about a week now while I shoot extra B-roll and sort out my lighting setup. If you are a student, a creative, or someone that is on the move a lot, this is a really, really, really strong contender for your go-to device. I myself have found it incredibly beneficial and I just love using the thing. So can it really replace your laptop? Now, I think I'm gonna make a distinction here between your work self and your personal self and your personal computing needs because I have replaced my laptop with an iPad Pro for the last four years for my personal computing needs. So at home, I don't have a personal laptop that I, I use at all. It's all done on the iPad Pro. So browsing through articles, um, writing emails, creating um, letters, shooting content on my iPhone and uploading that through into an editing software on the iPad is all done with, with my iPad. Um, I, I watch my content on there. So I've got no need for a personal laptop and that's where I really think this thing shines. But it does get a bit complicated if you're looking to have this thing replace your work laptop, especially if you're self-employed. So you have to know a few things about the operating system. iPad OS has come a long way, but it's still some way off a Mac operating system or a Windows system. You know, the file storage, the drag and drop mechanics, you know, multiple windows open at the same time. The stage manager equivalent on the iPad just isn't quite up to standard. So for business use cases and for business purposes and using really professional apps, especially if there is not a application dedicated to the iPad, it's gonna be difficult for you to replace your business needs for, um, with, with an iPad. But if you have one provided to you from work, which, which a lot of people do have, then having a standalone iPad for your personal entertainment needs is, honestly, it's been a great game changer because I also use it as an accompaniment to my work. So um, I will read content and articles um, through the iPad operating system. I will um, use it as an accompaniment through the Windows suite of apps. So OneNote, for example, to write notes and have that shared through into my business OneNote account so that I have that there. You know, I can draw out diagrams and, and do thinking. I, I prefer thinking with kind of pen and paper. This is that equivalent, but I don't lose out on having that for work too. I don't lose notes anymore, let's put it that way. So that's where it really comes into its own. So you have to try and mold the operating system to your needs. But to make the iPad work for you, you are going to need accessories. And so this is where Apple have really got you here because um, if you've had any of the second generation uh, Magic Keyboards or pencils, they don't work with this new one. And I found out the hard way by getting really excited and taking my iPad out of the box as my unboxing experience unfolded before me. I loaded it up onto the Magic Keyboard, popped the pen on top, turned around, and it all had just fallen up. 
and I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what, what is happening? Nobody told me that I needed to replace all these things. So if you are upgrading from an existing, you know, accessory kit, I would definitely advise making sure that you buy the latest stuff. So they've moved all the magnets inside to make room for um, the new processors, the battery, but also the fact that the camera is now centered. So that centered camera has apparently removed all magnets everywhere. So worry about that uh, and make sure that you are prepared to perhaps reinvest in accessories. But the accessories are what allow this thing to replace your laptop. You aren't gonna require them. And if you want those use cases around artistic design, drawing, you know, reviewing notes and, and, and replacing your notepad with this type of device, then you're gonna need all this, okay? And it, and it really makes a difference. But what you really have to invest in at the end of the day is cloud storage. I would not recommend buying the really high, you know, two terabyte um, storage options. It's just, that it just makes the iPad incredibly expensive and I honestly don't think you're gonna need that. So investing in cloud storage, making sure that you can access your files absolutely everywhere on your phone, on your Mac if you have one, um, or on the other devices and saving things to either Google Drive, iCloud, that is what's gonna make the difference and allow you to properly replace that personal computing experience. So I have all of my documents saved in iCloud. So when I'm signing documents for a home loan or for a, for a mortgage, any visas, you know, I'm using my iPad and saving that in my cloud and I've got those on my phone. That is a great use case, but it really does need accessories. And it's also worth investing in productivity apps. So OneNote, for example, or Notability, which is my favorite, are two of those classic examples of productivity apps. Uh, there are a number more that work great for the iPad and, and turn it from just a great entertainment service to something that can really do a lot of heavy duty work. So uh, I would massively, massively recommend you looking into the best ones for you that suit your needs and getting hold of those. But that's not all. So I told you that I had an old 2020 iPad Pro. Now, this thing died on me and I was just gonna get it repaired. But the recent developer keynote from Apple came out. Uh, I saw their download of Apple Intelligence and that's what really convinced me to upgrade and modernize my setup and, and bring the M4 into my kind of tech stack, so to speak. The Apple Intelligence integration with OpenAI is going to be a game changer. Now, the way that Apple likes to integrate things, they didn't have, they could have developed their own AI, but they decided not to. They decided to work with OpenAI and they wouldn't have done that if they didn't have a really strong idea of the power of that service, okay? So they're gonna integrate that into all of your productivity apps, into your emails, into your note-taking, into your content consumption, and allow you to be even more unique, even more creative, to ask a question in one app and have it pull data from another place and curate a response for you to just quickly set reminders and calendar invites. You know, it's gonna move this thing from a clunky laptop piece of kit to something that is truly gonna help you, you know, be a more effective person in your personal life and even your work life. So for me, that integration of Apple Intelligence, which we're gonna to have to go into separately, is really what sets this thing apart for me and why the M series of chips in general um, are, are a must have. Um, Apple have really struggled to get you to upgrade, but I think this Apple Intelligence update and, and the way in which it's gonna be leveraged across its suite of apps and also um, any new developer apps, are, it's gonna be really, really powerful. So I can't wait to see how that comes across. Okay, so the verdict, is it right for you? Well, the pros, the battery life is amazing. It's perfect for those, that kind of creative, um, that creative person. The screen, we barely touched upon the screen, but it's absolutely stunning. Um, it, everything looks better on this screen. Um, the future of Apple AI, coupled with the M4 processor, is really, for me, what sets the cat amongst the pigeons and why I believe that changing your laptop for this is perfect. But you have to be aware of the cons. The cons are the operating system is not as good as your desktop or laptop operating system. You're gonna to have to change a few things in your, in your workflow to accompany that. The second thing is going to be the 
cost of the accessories, it makes it almost as expensive as a laptop. So you are gonna to have to make a life's choice here. You probably can't have both. Um, and if those accessories feel prohibitive to you, then you're probably not going to want to you know, solely replace your laptop experience with just a thin piece of glass. That is not gonna work. You have to be all in. So can you replace your laptop with an iPad? I think you can. I have, I have done for the last four years and I will continue to do so, but make that distinction. My personal computer needs are replaced by my iPad. I don't think I could go to work and entirely work on an iPad if I wanna keep up with my peers. So that is absolutely a watch out. But as these things get more intuitive, as prompting becomes less manual, you're gonna to start to see the blurred lines with Apple intelligence make that a possibility. And who knows, this thing is gonna last with this processing power well into the future. So if you can just hold on and wait, you may be able to bring that into your business needs. But if it's down to replacing your personal computer with an iPad, I absolutely believe you can, and I think you should. I've loved it. Let me know in the comments if you are thinking of replacing your laptop with an iPad, or if you have already done so, and what that experience is like. I'd love to hear from you. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.